Welcome to Smart Notebook Map Tools. In this session, we will be showing you how to do some dynamic graphing, linking, and integrating some of Map Tools applications. We'll also show you how to connect to the Texas Instrument Graphing Calculator through the emulator icon. First, we'll start with adding shapes to the graph using the Snap2 grid. We'll then display the coordinates of the vertices of the shape and display its side length. Finally, we will reflect the shape. Here's the example. Construct a square at the following points. First, select the shapes icon and the icon for a square. Draw the square onto the grid. Then selecting the square, use the pull down menu to show the vertices. Selecting a vertex point, drag the point to one of the points that you want to graph and do the same for each of the vertices. Notice the crosshairs show up as two a vertical and a horizontal red line as you approach the snap to point. Verify that you do have the points of the square by first of all selecting the square using a pull down menu and then showing and hiding or show the vertex points. There you can see the coordinates of the points indicated. Next, just to check again we can show the side lengths to see that each of the side lengths are three units in length. Once we verify that we have the square at those points, we can then reflect the square using the pull down menu. So select reflect shape and um, reflect over the line x equals zero for the y axis. We could also reflect the image square. So first select the image square, use the pull down menu select reflect shape and this time let's reflect that over the line y equals x. To continue with our dynamic graphing we'll now generate graphs tables and equations. First generating graphs from tables. Highlight the table, use the pull down menu, select math actions and generate graph. These are dynamically linked so I can produce additional points on the graph by double clicking for a point and as we do that you see the point appear in the table. So we can interpolate points or extrapolate points by adding points to the graph and seeing that appear in the table. It can also remove points by double clicking and the points is removed from the table as well. As we highlight the table, you'll see that dynamic link and we can break that link by selecting the X between the blue squares. Now that the link is deselected, we can next change points in our table and that will not be upgraded in the graph. So as I open the keyboard and select three and change that to 3.5 in the table and then the Y value changing that to seven, closing our keyboard and then you see the changes in the table but not on the graph. Now, if I reestablish the link and you see a blue box to the left of the highlighted table, if I drag that blue box to the graph, it reconnects the link and now you see the graph has been upgraded to the points on the table. Here's an example 
where this will be useful. Here we have two tables and a problem about the running times for men's and women's races. So we've seen this problem before, highlighting the table. We can now generate a graph using selecting math actions and generate graph. Doing the same with the women's times, we will this time use the blue box on the left of the table, drag it to connect to the grid so that the points appear on the same grid. Students can now enter into discussion. We could use lines of best fits. So constructing a line through the points, we can show the trend for the women's times as decreasing. We can also show the trend for the men's times as also decreasing but at a slower rate. And so then the students can have that discussion about will the woman outrun the men at a future time. We could also generate tables from graphs. This time selecting the graph Using the pull down menu, selecting math actions, we can generate a table. You can see the dynamic link between a table and the same applies if we put points in our graph, the table will be updated. And we can also break that link so that if we remove points, or if we remove points, you will see that nothing has happened to the table. And as we reestablish that link, then that graph is once more updated to the table. Here's an example. What relationships exist between a table values and a graph? So here's a graph. Selecting it, using a pull down menu, selecting math actions and generating a table, and now have the points that appear on a graph. Now, as we start to explore relationships in the table and relationships in the graph, we can make some comparisons. So looking at the table, we could calculate our finite differences. So as x changes by 1, we see that y has a difference of 2. Then exploring on the relationships on our graph, we could use some of our other tools. For example, our irregular polygons create a triangle and as we select this triangle using the pull down menu we can show our vertices selecting a vertex selecting a vertex we can drag it to snap to a point on the line and we can also create a right triangle using the crosshairs in red. And then we can select to show our coordinates. So showing the vertex points. And then using that to calculate our rise and our run. And then looking at that rise to run to figure, to calculate our slope and seeing the relationship between our slope and our finite differences from our table. 